New project hey, Peps. Oh, thank you so much. It's time to make a uh, pedal power washing machine. We've got our PPE. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Yeah. We've got both of these for free from Free Cycle Mayo. And uh, yeah, the, the washing machine is broken. Don't know what's wrong with it, but it doesn't really matter as it was. We're going to break it some more. And yeah, yeah, you want this on your head? Yeah. You put it on? No, oh, you need it for on the bike. That's that's good thinking. And uh, yeah, this bike, I don't know, it, a bit of care, it'd be great, but uh, either way, we're going to chop it up. See what we can see what we can make. At the minute, we've been washing our clothes by hand, and uh, God, it's back breaking. So should make things a bit easier, and it saves 20 euro every time we want to go to the laundrette. So see what we can see what we can make now. We're gonna we'll build it up here out in the open because it's coming summer, and. Uh, we can uh, do some washing in the sun. We've had plenty of chance to miss the rain. Right next to our little hobbit hole. And there's our little, little apple tree just there. Seymour, that's Seymour. And uh, there's Shan raking some debris. And Goober's making a start on the disassembly. Thanks, bud. And we're on. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Need him in. So, uh, I don't know if Alex has explained, but we're making a pedal power washing machine. Or we're going to try anyway. Thought I'd bring you along. Let's do it. Okay, we've uh, okay. taken this motor off. That was uh, just in here. So this is the the bottom of the machine. <laughs> hey, come on, camera. Uh, it was just on the, these pegs there, that one and that one. So the motor's off. We also have these, which are like tiny little shock absorbers. So uh, so this is the top of the machine and the drum is suspended on those springs, one there and one down in there somewhere, yeah, springs. So hanging from springs, sitting on these shock absorbers that were mounted just in there. And obviously we don't want to move the drum to move around too much while we're cycling, otherwise the chain could come off. So I'm just gonna somehow fix these in place. Oh, yeah, you got it, buddy. And uh, yeah, rip out the electrics, don't need those anymore. Uh. Lovely, you've got some grass on your face. Uh. Ooh. So I was going to use some wood to uh, connect the, uh, the drum back in place, but I decided to just uh, drill into the, um, the shock absorbers and uh, fix them in place so that they don't move at all now. So hopefully they'll be nice sturdy legs that fit perfectly back inside. So put them back on now. Okay, we've made a mess of it. Aren't we buddy? Um, we've taken the front off because 
Although I'll fix these legs now with this, those screws. Oh yeah, we'll get that. I'll get that for you. Everybody. No, okay, you're good with the small one. That's okay. Um, yeah, it's still uh, bending quite a lot, and obviously it needs fixing at the top. Usually it's suspended by those springs, as I said, but um, yeah, so uh, don't want to snap anything on these legs now that they're fixed in position. So um, taking the front off to give me better access to these springs, and also it's allowed me a chance to take that um, concrete weight out of here that was fastened here so um, that's going to be a lot less stress and there's another one at the top the concrete block on the top that would uh, would be keeping the washing machine still as it's doing its cycle but we don't need that now so um, yeah I need to cut those springs or something and fix it fix it securely at the top get that um, concrete off there I might just use some bolt cutters to be honest and get in there and just snap it off for some kind of hacksaw. Let's give that a go. Yeah, cat buddy. Cat. It's on the catwalk. Peppy. Pepsi Cola. Pepperoni. No, not interested. Off he goes. Anyway, um, <laughs> these springs are a bit tougher than I anticipated, so um, I'm going to get the angle grinder and just buzz the top off there, and that will just release it all. And then I can get this concrete off and um, can secure the drum, and away we go. It's already so much lighter for taking that that lump out, so that's great, but we have no fuel for the generator right now, so we'll get that later. For now, I'll focus on this bike, see what we can do. I'm thinking um, of keeping the front wheel on, support the front end. You wanna come up, buddy? Come on up. And, okay. So yeah, leave the front wheel on, fix it in place so it doesn't turn all over the place somehow. Back end, I'm thinking, to support it. Yeah, I've got the screwdriver now, thank you. I've taken this shock absorber off so that this um, frame here will swing down, swing down as I just with my foot and become legs somehow. It's, uh, that's that's my theory. Anyway, see if it actually works. Okay, so uh, what are we up to? We've uh, have a dance. Tried to use my angle grinder, and uh, where am I? Tried to use angle grinder, but it uh, didn't work. So I had to take it apart first and put it back together, and it worked. So I've uh, cut through the springs and uh, got this off the top now. So, uh, where am I? Oh, yeah. Let me put this camera back a bit, eh? What are we doing? A little bit better, isn't it? Better. So, uh, so yeah, this came off the top there. So what we need to do now is uh, Obviously, pick the drum back up. I'm going to put a plate of wood covering those the uh, holes there and uh, fix it up. Fix it up to this. So there's like a couple of screw holes in here I can use to fasten it up to, and that should hopefully secure it enough. And if not, we'll wedge some things down the side too. And that should hold it then nicely. Okay. New checkpoint. I'd say that's pretty pretty secure now. So, so when I took that concrete off just down there, uh, I've used the same screw holes to mount this, this bit of wood. Now uh, with me rushing, I've, uh, I didn't realise they were on different levels, so I had to stagger the wood. And it looked a bit messy, but 
that's that's great. Okay, so time to fix the bike to it, I think, somehow. Let's go get the bike. Okay, so uh, so just uh, taking this thing off the back, back of the machine there. That's what the uh, belt would go around to spin the drum. And lucky enough, the the not the bolt for it. The same size as this one I've got. Um, a bit longer, which will hopefully uh, go through the pocket. So now we just need to somehow fix this sprocket to the back of the drum there. I think I'm going to cut the spokes off. So we just have to just uh, the cogs themselves. Hopefully the bolt cutters will get through it. I'll come in handy for something. Do some art or something. So we uh, pull these spokes out of here now then. So from trim them down a bit more. I need trimming more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on the camera, buddy. Thank you for letting me know. Just before I put the panels back on, I'll uh, just do a quick demonstration of how it works. It's quite simple, really. Um, the water inlet is just there, so I might just use one pipe, but there's two I guess, ones for um, the detergent, ones for the conditioner or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, the water will come in through the tray in there at the back, it'll wash through whatever powder or gel we put in there, and we'll enter the drum through here, and then we'll do some cycling, do some spinning and uh, the outlet is just down here so it comes down through this which would have been a pump i guess hopefully it just goes straight through it you know buddy we'll put that down for now thank you thank you very much uh, and comes out through that gray tube there and uh, you know while whilst we want the drum well whilst we're doing the washing um this gray tube will be clipped up here higher than the drum and then when we want to drain, I'll just take this tube off and bring it lower than the drum and hopefully it all flows out. That's my theory. We're ready there to uh, put all the front panels and the top back on. I'm gonna... Oh yeah, we've got a pallet as well. We just picked this pallet up for free as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fasten the washing machine down to the pallet and fasten the bike to it as well. And should all stay pretty pretty sturdy then. <laughs> well done buddy. You got it Flood. You gonna you gonna fix it? Yeah. Make it. Thank you. Okay my problem now is whenever I line the bike up with the sprocket there the chain rubs on this frame, so um, I need to 
get the chain out of the frame. I think I'm gonna cut a section of the frame out, just big enough to get the chain chain out, and then I'll uh, see what I do from then. I'm just making it up as I go along from this point. Uh, I'd take the frame off, but I think it could be really handy to use as some support, so I'm just going to cut into it. <laughs> I have uh, bought myself a hacksaw because my uh, angle grinder still doesn't want to work for me, so who knows what's going on with that. Okay, hey, moment of truth. I've just cut that little tiny section there out, probably maybe the width of my little finger. So let's see then if this chain will pass through it. And it does, perfect. And there you go. If I can get my finger unstuck, the chain is off. Okay, so now we have a chain, a washing machine, and a bike. Let's see. Let's put them together somehow. Okie dokie, we have now repositioned up onto the field, or behind the cottage, we're up here now, and we have uh, somewhat fixed the bike to the washing machine, so so so, here's what we've gone for, we, I actually did this once down, down there but I um, took it apart again to reposition it up here and we also had some issues with the chain coming off, so I need to put, pay a bit more attention to aligning the sprockets. I don't know if you could tell, just by moving the bike this little little bit, kind of pulls the chain in and out of line. So, so let's go over this. And so we have the uh, oh, it's getting behind this bit of tree. So yeah, here's the um, the back of the frame acting as some legs. Down there, so I just swung it down, pivoting on this um, this part here. And guess we're gonna Goop is gonna give you a demonstration here. Yeah, you keep going, buddy. That's it. You got it. <coughs> brr, brr. Yeah, it's a push bike. Yeah, it's a bicycle. Yeah. Gonna do it again. Yeah, you keep going. Yeah, you keep going. So here you go, this is how it works. Luckily, this uh, small bracket where the shock absorber used to be attached actually aligns pretty well with the back of the machine. So I just used some brackets that I had lying around, one 90 degree, one just kind of like flat plate with some holes in. Just kind of screwed that into the side of the machine there, um, into the body. Uh, this, there's a block of wood just between the uh, back of the frame there. It's just been screwed through these holes where they used to be. I don't know, brakes or something, can't remember now. Uh, and that will get screwed down once it's all lined up into the pallet to stop it from moving too much. That's what we have. Um, that's pretty much it. So yeah, just need to get it in line now. Get it all screwed down and uh, away we go, I think. Trial run. So it's all screwed down now. And uh, although... That looks a bit wonky. Um, I think it's uh, actually pulled the chain as straight as it could, as it could be. So hopefully it doesn't come off now. Okay, let's uh, give it a proper go then. Just put about 14 litres of water in, about two five litre bottles of cold, and uh, boiled a couple of kettles, put that in there. Uh, we're only doing a little bit of a load, so. Hopefully that's good. But yeah, that's the finished thing. <laughs> Ready? Yep. There you oh. go. Check me out. It works. Oh, it's got a bit of a wobble to it. A little bit. Oh. The pallet needs fixing down. I feel like I'm on a bumpy road. Oh. It's here, eh? Slow down. <laughs> That's that. One washing machine. Kind of. Yeah, thanks for watching.
If you fancy uh, liking and subscribing, that'd be nice. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Well, maybe you'll see us. Whatever. Bye.